Good morning and welcome back to the One Celtic Fans View. It's probably been completely different to the Easter Sunday morning that I've had. Um, it takes things to a different level in this country, but it's all about Celtic now. This, uh, this video is all about Celtic and Celtic do have an important game this afternoon, just a couple of hours time. David Martindale has been talking about Celtic and the fact that they have retained quite a high Ticket allocation to Celtic. Chris Sutton's been talking about Celtic, saying that there's um, with two derbies left, the tension is rife in Scottish football, and Celtic again have been linked with a Blackburn Rovers player. All in this morning's Celtic news. Make sure that you give the video a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do because it's absolutely free. It is absolutely free to subscribe to the channel, and uh, it helps us get out to as many Celtic supporters as possible now to david martindale david martindale has been talking about the fact that there will be seven thousand odd celtic fans at the game today um with the lunchtime kickoff brendan rogers um will miss out the game and he'll be welcome back to the derby game next week which is a way game also but david martindale has been talking and he said look when it comes to the stadium and when it comes to the fact that people don't want to go to a mini celtic park People, and you can understand why away f well, fans at their own ground say, look, we don't really want to come and watch our team at a mini Celtic park with as many away fans. Well, Livingston, on the other hand, have said, well, we welcome 7,000, 8,000 Celtic fans. When you, say, when you look at it, they create an atmosphere, be it good or bad. Uh, you, can turn the, you can turn the fans against them with the style of play that we play in. And if you put a bit of pressure on Celtic, you can give, definitely get the backup of the fans and you can turn them against their own team. Um, but on the other hand, it says, when you look at it, you know, a lot of people, as a professional sportsman himself, is he a professional sportsman? He says, you want to play, you want to be involved in games like this. You want to play in the biggest stadiums, in the fullest stadiums. There's nothing worse than being a sportsman and playing in a half-empty football ground. Celtic bring an atmosphere, their fans bring an atmosphere. It could also work in our favour. I get the argument where people say they don't want to play, obviously, in, in a mini park head, but he is completely the opposite. And uh, Livingston says, when you bring the other two teams from Glasgow, I would rather much have a full stadium if it means giving Celtic 80% of the stadium, then so be it. It adds to the atmosphere. For me, personally, it's a buzz, he says. But imagine uh, the players there can also think that because, let's face it, there's nothing worse than playing in half-empty grounds that you see along uh, around Scottish football quite often. So with that being said, I would rather play with eight up to 8,000 Celtic fans. To be fair, Livingston have always been accommodating to Celtic supporters and have consistently delivered a generous allocation every season it's, it's quite refreshing to hear that from and uh, the likes of martindale when you see the, the likes of hearts have reduced celtic's allocation down to uh, around about 700. when you look at it there's been a reduced allocation at kilmarnock there's been a reduced allocation at st Mern. hibs are on about reduced allocation but the scottish media see it as some kind of victory for the glasgow derby they see it as a victory that the teams have managed to agree a 5%, and it's nothing to do with the teams. The teams had nothing at all to agree with that. The SFA implemented a UEFA rule where teams have to give a minimum of 5% to any travelling away fans. So this way that the media has taken control of the narrative, taken control of the narrative to try and make its big bad Celtic stop the away fans at Glasgow Derbies, well, that didn't happen. We all know exactly why it happened. It was Rogers' fault in the first place. Anyway, there'll be a good atmosphere at the game today. What do you think the score will be? I said last night, I said roughly, I thought it would be 3-1 to Celtic. I think the score today, having had the Easter Sunday that I have had, I think I'm a bit more philosophical about things this morning and i think that celtic are going to go in a goal fest if we were to believe everything that brendan rogers said and joe hart said at the press and conferences uh, the other day um we're led to believe that the team are all there and they're all focused and fighting for the one thing well if that be, if that happens and that's been with that being said if if everything and the stars align keogh is going to come out and score a hat trick adam Ida is going to score a double so i'm going to go for five now today i'm going to go for five now i think that rio hotati might get on the, the the score sheet, Rio Tati for me, needs to start the game because we need to get him as fit and have that game time as possible. Callum McGregor will not play. Lewis Palma is still a little bit off the pace. Yang has picked up a tightness in his muscle, so he won't play either. So with that being said, there will be a live in a couple of hours' time when the team is released by Celtic. And um, 
we'll talk about because we can speculate about the team all day long. But Brendan Rodgers will pick the best team possible for Celtic. Now, talking about Celtic and the, the Derby, because let's face it, before the game even kicks off today, there will be talk on the media about the Derby next week. And uh, Chris Sutton's been talking about it. He says, look, Celtic and the Sevco, the Rangers, are favourites to reach the Scottish Cup final. Um, they are favourites to get to the, the final. There are two derbies left in the league. And it's uh, it's you could see Sky executives sitting cracking one after the rest at the fact that there's three derbies to go because that's all they want is Glasgow derbies, let's face it. And um, the showpiece in, in the end of May will be iconic. It will be iconic for a reason that Celtic fans will know because of the date. The two derbies in the league, the tension that is there, says Chris Boyd. And the uh, Rangers are, are getting off to a sluggish start at the beginning of the season. They've, they've picked up their game a bit, as they always do when they change manager. And you, when you look at the history of this young club, they, they always get a lift for half a season or so when they bring in a new manager. And then it all drops off and they, they have to start again and thinking again about managers. The fact that this morning they are top of the league by two points and and two goals to the better. Celtic need to go out and have fun today. They need to go out and get as many goals as we can to make sure that we get back to that top of the, the table. Although they do have that game in hand, Rangers, Chris Sutton believes that the likes of Rio Hatate, if he had stayed fit this season, Celtic would have been miles in front. They would never have dropped the points that we have over the past course of the season. But listen, it's a fact is we need to deal with what is in front of us now. You can't regain the points that we've lost over the case of the season we need to go out and be convincing today and the game starts today today is the beginning of winning the league as far as i'm concerned the japanese from midfielder needs to start today chris sutton also feels that he could bring a big boost to celtic he said i get the fears that somehow that the players shouldn't be risked in a game like today with the pitch that the way it is that fake pitch but with the game around the corner there's no time to be wrapping up anyone in cotton wool says chris Sutton. said they need to be fit they need to be ready this is the perfect pitch to get them ready for next weekend celtic can simply not afford to drop any points if we drop points today that's it it's game over as far as i'm concerned because we then go but then go again a number of points behind them and uh, they've got that game in hand and it's just game over it's it's, it, it's not acceptable mcgregor's been out for about five weeks um we, we don't know how well he's been training he's not going to be risked risked for this game rio hitati he's been a massive miss all season chris sutton says um if he had been playing all season would be miles ahead in the title race. Hitati brings something different to the midfield, where we can accept it sometimes takes a while to get back into the groove. Hitati's form at the beginning of the season was absolutely rank rotten. But um, hopefully he has his eye on the prizes and the whole team has their eye on the prize at the end of the season because they know you know, this is when you, you make your money, as they say. Celtic can still produce it. They've got a few major games to deliver the, the success that the Celtic fans need. Over, oversimplification on Celtic's part. Um, maybe we need to do the easy things easy rather than try and walk the ball into the net. You know, just take a shot for 20 yards, take a shot for 30 yards. Talking about taking a shot, Celtic have again been linked with the Blackburn striker. Celtic have been linked again with this Blackburn striker who is Irish, Sammy Sami, and has emerged as on the radar as Celtic. And there's a, another publication talking about it today. Blackburn Rovers are expecting to face a battle to keep the striker this summer. Uh, so far this season, he has scored 27 goals. He's 28-year-old. Is he in the right price bracket and age bracket for Celtic? That's one thing that I would ask. We all know that we've got Adam Ida on loan. Is he a better player than Adam Ida? Well, he's getting game time at Blackburn. Adam Ida wasn't getting game time at Norwich. Um, will Celtic go for Adam Ida before this, or you know what Celtic's like, they'll probably get a, a ridiculous amount of money being put about for Adam Eda and Celtic will go, nah, he's not worth that all day long. And then they'll go and buy this 28-year-old who, who, you know, we haven't heard much of. He has only played two games for Ireland. Tell me what you think about it in the comments section. Tell me how your Easter Sunday has been so far. Make sure that you join the live. That will be one hour and 15 minutes before kickoff. When Brendan Rodgers and Celtic releases the team that they will be playing today at Livingston. And on that note, have a fantastic day, Celtic fans all around the world.